How's it going guys, JT Judgment here and today I'm back with another squad builder for you guys. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Liverpool FC. Now the other day I was scrolling through my comments and I came across this. So I just want to thank Zed Walshy XR for suggesting such an awesome team. It's, it was really fun to use, guys. Um, I was expecting to see, and as some of the players in it have got incredible stats, you know, they got high rating. And in game, I've used other versions of them before, and they were pretty damn good, guys. So you've just seen the bench. Um, we'll go straight into the starting eleven, guys. Let's put Liverpool in because they're obviously all going to be in Liverpool. And the goalkeeper, we have got the 85 rated upgraded Pepe Reina. Now Pepe Reina is a damn good goalkeeper. He is really good. He makes some amazing saves. He saved my ass a load of times, guys. Um, much better than his 84 rated. I've used his 84 rated and I, to be honest, I didn't like it. But I was, I used this version and I fell in love with him. I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. He's, he's good. His, his diving is amazing. Is uh, his reflexes are pretty damn good. Um, I think he's got like 86 reflexes. Um, but his speed is good. And I can tell you guys right now, he has got one of the most ridiculously long throws I have seen in this game. It is unbelievable. You might be able to see it in some of the clips I've got. Um, but if not, then you're going to have to take my word for it. But, you know, if you've used him, you should know. Is I've seen... I've gone to the edge of the box with him, guys, and I've literally thrown it past the halfway line. It's crazy. Um, Kicking isn't too bad. Um, and he's just an all-around good goalkeeper, guys. He's going to cost, depending on which, for which formation you buy him in, uh, anywhere between two to 4,000, I think, guys. Our left-back, we've got Jose Enrique. Jose Enrique is a very, very good left-back. His pace is very nice, and he's got 88 um is he, he's good he's really good uh, he catches up with a lot of people uh so when you got jose enrique on your team you don't need to worry about pace abusers too much because he can pretty much catch up with them there you see he caught up with Di maria who's got like three or four more pace than him um very strong he is very strong on the ball i've run up the pitch a few times and a lot of strong players you know notab notab noticeably strong players sorry guys uh, people that we know that are pretty strong haven't been able to shrug him off the ball, take the ball off him. And he's just been able to just run past them with ease. Um, again, it's depending on what formation you get, he's going to cost you about anywhere between 1,000 to 2,000. i got to say he's worth it, guys. He's really, really good. Um, if you're going to get Enrique, I'd say get the upgraded version because, you know, I think there's only like a 1,000 coins in difference. And I think pretty much everyone can afford to get that. Our centre-back, uh, on the left-hand side, we have got the second in form, Daniel Aga. This guy is a complete and utter tank. I am not joking, guys. Uh, he's just over six foot, and he brings 72 pace to the game. Outstanding. As long as 91 defending, guys. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, here we see his pace. Uh, he was beating Demba Bar to the ball. That's the upgraded 84 Demba Bar, so I think he's got 86 pace. Uh, so he was beating uh, an 86 pace striker uh, with 72 pace. So that's pretty crazy. Um, he's an all-around top defender, guys. Um, he's really, really good. Well worth the coins. Um, not pretty. I'm not 100% sure what he's worth. Um, I think he's worth around the 60,000 coin mark. I gotta say he's worth it, guys. He's a complete and a tank. He is really good. Our right centre back, we've got the team of the season, Skirtle, and this this version of Skirtle I fell in love with the first game I played with him. He is absolutely outstanding. 73 pace, 87 defending, 85 heading. You know, after the first game I played with him, I was instantly, um, you know, I instantly knew that if I was going to make an informed Premier League team, this guy was going to be one of my centre backs. He is that good, guys. He catches up with a lot of people. His positioning is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, from a goal kick, uh, he's the always the guy. He's always the player to get ahead to the ball. Um, from a corner, if he does get ahead to it, as you see there, he very rarely misses. And if he does miss, then it hits the post, or it just skims the post. Um, 
and his pace is very nice guys for a center back his pace is very nice uh, if you've got the coins I highly recommend getting this version over his regular because there is a big big difference he's gonna cost anywhere between 55 to 60 thousand again depending in what formation you buy him in our right back we have got the inform Glenn Johnson now I don't like Glenn Johnson the inform I don't like any version of Glenn Johnson to be honest with you guys um, first time I used him was when he first came out and I didn't like him and then I haven't used him since now you know the only reason he's in this team is because it's a Liverpool team um, reasons why I don't like him I don't know he just doesn't feel like um, you know the stats he's got in his card they don't feel like what he's got in game you know 88 pace seems like about 84 guys uh, 84 85 uh, defending, he's not a very good defender. I don't like him. Dribbling is okay, but I just, I just don't like him, guys. For my, in my opinion, if you want to get Glenn Johnson on your team, I recommend getting the original non-informed version because there's, there's no difference to be honest, guys. If you ask me, the inform is going to set you back around about fifty thousand, anywhere between forty-five to fifty thousand. And again, I just don't think he's worth it, guys. Just go out and buy yourself the non-informed. Our left midfielder, we have got the inform Maxi Rodriguez. Uh, this guy is kind of surprised about. Um, his pace is pretty nice. Um, his dribbling is awesome. His pace is only 75, but he seems around more than the 80 mark. Uh, his dribbling is amazing. He's got 85. His passing is outstanding. He's got 82. And he's, his shooting is pretty nice as well, guys. I was sp surprised by his shooting. Um... He's a good player all round. He's a decent player. His cost, he's going to set you back anywhere between sixteen to 20,000. Again, depending on what formation you buy him in. Um, you can th you need to think about if you want to get the inform version because the non-inform is a non-rare right midfielder and the inform is an inform left midfielder. So, you know, if you want to get the inform, you're going to have to think about the switch from right midfield to left midfield. If you can do that, guys, I recommend it. Our left centre mid is the 89 rated Steven Gerrard. This guy is amazing. You know, if I was to make an inform prem team, this guy would definitely be one of my midfielders. He is just a complete and utter tank. He is amazing. His pace is nice. Seeing as he's only got 80 pace, it is very nice. Um, his shooting is outstanding, 92. His passing is 92 as well, which is pretty awesome. His dribbling is 84. His defending is 81, and his heading is 78. Guys, with stats like that, it makes him the all-round, you know, the perfect midfielder. You know, he's got stats for attacking and defending. All-round, guys, Gerard is such an amazing midfielder. I cannot stress that enough. You know, he can his shooting is outstanding. You know, as you just saw there, he can be on the standstill and it can have and his shot can have the strength of ten men behind it. It's unbelievable. Some of the some of the shots he can come up with are outstanding. Um, I'd recommend this guy any day if you've got the coins. He's not cheap though, guys. It's going to cost you anywhere between two hundred and fifty to two hundred and eighty. So that is a lot of coins to spend on a player, but i got to say he's definitely worth it, guys, because he is just the perfect midfielder, and I've had so much fun using him, and he's just been a great player to have on this team. Our right centre midfielder is the newly transferred Welshman, Joe Allen. Joe Allen, I don't really know what to say about Joe Allen, because I didn't really enjoy him too much if that makes any sense i didn't really enjoy him as much as i thought i was going to because i don't know his stats in on the card did not really reflect on what he's like in game um on the card i think he's got about 72 pace i think it is if you give me guys a sec i can get it up on the screen by you um Sorry guys, yeah, 72 pace, 65 shot, 81 passing, 75 dribbling, 70 fe defending, and 69, uh, not 69, 59 head in, guys. So his stats are pretty decent, especially for a silver. And, yeah, all round he was, 
not that good, to be honest, guys. His shooting was pretty decent. His pace wasn't the best. His passing was pretty damn good, guys. I think that was the best aspect by of him. And, yeah, I just didn't think he was worth the coins, guys. Lately, he's been going for around 60,000 coins. I don't think he's worth that much. To be honest, I just think he's worth around the 10, 15 mark, to be honest. That's my opinion. Our right midfielder, we've got a left midfielder playing on that side of the pitch, seeing as they haven't really got that many good right mids now. I think, to be honest, the only one they've got is the non-informed Maxi Rodriguez, and seeing as I've got the inform on the left-hand side of the pitch, I haven't got many that many choices. So I ended up sticking down in there. Um, he's left-footed as well, guys, so he can cut in on his preferred foot and score some good goals. Um, he was pretty good. Um, 85 pace, 82 shot, 86 dribbling and 85, uh, 86 passing and 85 dribbling. With stats like that, guys, you expect him to be pretty damn good, and he is pretty damn good. His shot is nice, his pace is very good, I, his, his stats do reflect what is, um, what he plays like in game. He plays like a dream, he is really, really good. Um, going to cost anywhere between 40,000 to 45,000. I gotta say, he's worth it. Um, much better than his in form and his non in form. Um, and you can definitely tell a difference, even though his in form have got the same stats as the, as the man of the match. Um, there is a slight difference. Not too much, guys, but you can definitely tell. Our right striker is, again, the newly transferred silver Italian Fabio Borini. No, this guy, this guy was an absolute dream to play with. I am not, he was so much fun to use, guys. I scored some fantastic goals with him, and his pace was amazing. His shooting was absolutely outstanding. His dribbling, one of the last goal I've got by him, he just, he just, he just embarrasses the defence, guys, and his defence was amazing. He's, he, the defence that he had that he embarrassed was the newly informed Fanny and the League One version of Thiago Silva, guys. I think, yeah, this is it, guys. Look at this. Owned. <laughs> that, was, that, that goal, that was by far my favourite goal. I scored by him. Well worth the coins I spent on him. 30,000 coins. Definitely worth it, guys. I highly recommend you pick him up. You will not be uh, let down. He is such an amazing player. Our left striker, we have got uh, Luis Suarez, the 88-rated in form. I had a hell of a time trying to pick one of these up because lately a lot of people have been price-fixing him. You know, his price have been around 150-plus. You know, and he's I don't think he's worth more than 100 you know, is is I think there's only a difference in like two pace, one dribbling, and two shooting, and one rating. Obviously, I think that's the only difference. And his price is there as people have been putting him up like a hundred and twenty or whatever thousand more than his eighty-seven in form. Uh, I managed to pick him up for a hundred and twenty thousand. I got to say he's worth it, guys. Again, same as I done with. Skirtle and Gerard. if I were to make an informed Premiership team, an informed B BPL team, this guy would be one of my strikers. He is so much fun to use, um, but he can get on your nerves a lot. You know, he makes a lot of mistakes. You know, his passing isn't the best. You know, you tap the A button and he ends up, you know, passing it across the pitch. And it just r gets really annoying after a while. But if you can get used to that, guys... I definitely recommend picking him up. Um, he's definitely not worth the price tag, but if you want to use him, you've got to ca you've got to you know fork out whatever you can to pick him up. I gotta say he's worth it though, guys. In game, he is definitely worth the coins. Um, but if you cannot afford the 88 rated, the 87 in form performs just as well. Uh, not need not as good as the 88, but definitely as good. Uh, de definitely nearly as good as the 88 guys so that's the Liverpool team guys I hope you enjoyed it once again I want to thank um, is it Zed Walshy XR for suggesting the team mate if you're watching this thanks for suggesting uh, thank you for suggesting that team it was awesome and yeah this has been Liverpool I hope you enjoyed uh, please leave a comment down below on what teams you want to see me make and Leave a comment down below telling me what you thought and a like on this video will go a long way. I really, really appreciate it, guys. 
And yeah, this has been JT Judgment. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.